guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be doing like an updated makeup routine i know i've done like two of these like one normal like my first other kind of video and then i did an updated one and i'm doing another updated one because girl my makeup routine changes a lot so just kind of mind the fact that my hair is like semi wet it's kind of like slowly drying itself but yeah so this is pretty much like my everyday makeup routine. I'm just going to talk you through everything. So I don't use a primer. This is literally like my every single day makeup routine. Like, like it doesn't change. So I don't use primer. I just go straight in with foundation. And the foundation that is my literally like holy grail foundation is this Revlon Colorstay makeup for combination and oily skin. So this is what this looks like. I tell you now this is amazing like amazing with other foundations like at the end of the day i'm literally like dripping an oil like you can wipe it off my face um but with this it there's like nothing just sitting on my face like it's there it's just in my skin and it doesn't come off which is fabulous like 100 i'm like gonna rebuy this foundation like constantly um i bought this from phil unique and this shade i'm guessing it must be like a really popular shade because it's more expensive than the rest or whether it's not popular and it's more expensive for that reason but this is in the shade 180 sand beige um and yeah this is like nine pounds 20 from feel unique i don't know if it's cheaper anywhere else but that's just where i get my foundation and most of my makeup from so yeah i use this foundation brush by body collection i got this for christmas off of john's parents in my stocking so and i love it like it's amazing also just gonna put this out there so i got this revlon brush um to go with the Revlon foundation, but honestly, this foundation blending brush, whatever, stippling, whatever you want to call it, is crap. Like, I used it once, it's not a very well made brush. Um, I haven't used it in a while, so I don't know if I'm able to like pick any black ones off, but literally, like, every swipe is a black hair. Like, it's such a nice brush, and it was really soft before I used it, but it's just not great when it comes to um. Oh look, can you see it? Can you see that little black hair there? Like that's just happened from me rubbing this on my face. Like it is so bad. I think it was like eight pounds. I'm not really like fussed. I'm not really mad at it, but yeah. Anyway, I was just going with foundation like three pumps, but I end up using more anyway because I literally like lather this crap on. I don't even use concealer. I only use concealer on my eyebrows. Oh my god, I'm doing it completely different to the way I normally do it. Okay, well, normally I do my eyebrows and stuff first. So I'm just going to do this side of my face and then stop. I got a bit carried away when talking. But, like, I've completely changed how I do it. And it's, like, so much easier for me. My foundation. I go in with my eyebrows first. Because they honestly take the longest time ever. So... I worked out if I do my eyebrows first, then I know how long I have to do the rest of my makeup. And this is for like when I'm getting ready for work. Like, these excuse my eyebrows. Um, yeah, I'm trying to grow them out and I'm just not plucking anything around it. Um, I just want to get them done properly because I've had enough of like having to shave my eyebrows constantly. Like they have zero shape to them. It stresses me out. Um, they're really thin. They're really far apart. I want to get my eyebrows microbladed. So, yeah, I'm going to have to move the camera so you can see me a little bit better. Okay, so I've kind of given myself like a, a kind of shape. I'm going in with... Oh, I didn't think I told you my eyebrow product. I use the Eyelure... I lure, I lure, don't bloody know, brow pomade in number 20 mid brown and I use my Studio London eyebrow brush from Superdrug. Um, and then I will go in with my Lottie London concealer brush and my Maybelline anti-age eye eraser eye concealer in the shade light and I will literally just conceal the heck out of my brows so that's my brows and now i'm going in with eyeshadow let me move the camera back around a little bit 
I use two palettes, um, but I may be able to just not have to use the two. So I use the, they're both MUA actually. So this is the Makeup Academy um, eyeshadow palette in 5X and it's just a bunch of red eyeshadows, a few oranges and pinks and brown in there. But this is so nice and I've been loving reds at the minute and a bit of like a subtle pinky colour. Um, and then this is the MUA Luxe palette um, in Hypnotic Sparkle. I don't really use this palette as much, like they're all glittery. The only shade I really use is this one here and the creamy like highlighter kind of shade. But when I use the creamy one it literally like collects all my eyeshadow like in the crease so it kind of just ruins it so i'm gonna go in with the luxe palette and use this shade to start off with i'm gonna go in with this orange shade here so that is the orange done i'm gonna quickly wipe my brush again because i'm gonna have to use this brush again next i'm gonna go in with this glittery red shade here can you see the glitter in it i don't know but it's glittery but this is you know and we're going to go in with a Real Techniques multitask face brush and go in with this bright red here. Only a little bit because it's like super, super pigmented. I'm going to go in with the blending brush and use the like highlighty shade that I talked about earlier. So this one here is really creamy, really highlighty, and it's fab. That's done. And I'm just going to go back in with the real techniques blending brush with the red shade and i'm just going to kind of like blend blend the sparkly bit in a bit okay so i'm going to get on with like the rest of my makeup because i'm not really feeling my eyes right now um and hopefully they'll like come together with the makeup but now i can finally go back in with the foundation that i was talking about let's go i'm just gonna add another layer on because it's gone I feel like I should address something in this video. I feel like we should talk about Logan Paul. <laughs> I don't know, make it a bit beefy, even though not really beefy, but you know what I mean. I feel like everyone else is talking about it. I haven't spoke about it. I've just like seen a few tweets, like the tweets and retweet the tweets. That is all I've pretty much kind of, not really spoke about it, but kind of, I don't know, been involved with it kind of thing. Okay, I'm gonna let you know my opinion uh i literally hate him for it like i don't know him don't have to know him the fact that he's recorded someone's dead body and put it on the internet like let like literally everyone said this i know but like that is someone's family member like if if that was me like and i was that low that depressed and i literally didn't see any other way out of life and that I had to commit suicide and, I, and there was just like I literally because the guy was purple like I never watched the video myself because I didn't like didn't see it until like the next day like all the beefy crap um so I had to watch a video of someone talking about it and they showed clips of it so I kind of got like an insight of what it was but you could see that he like the guy's hands were purple um and it's just really sad like that's someone's family member and he's literally recording them when they're purple like they would have not just done that but they would have done that recently like that day they would have like they felt like they couldn't go on in life and they had to commit their self like commit their life to just they just commit like oh it's, it's just it infuriates me how someone thinks that it's physically okay to just do that and then he comes out with like an apology video and like a, a note on twitter and i'm just like that isn't gonna solve anything like you have like the amount of kids that would have seen that like he has such a big follow following like 15 million people and honestly most of the people on youtube that watch youtube are kids because i don't know that's social media these days isn't it they're gonna look up to him as the role model like and now He's just kind of made it look acceptably... Oh my god, I look really pale. He's kind of made it not acceptable, but... He's kind of made it acceptable. Oh, I didn't realise I had a shadow on my face. I don't know what it's from. Is it from that? No, I don't really know. But I'm just going to have to ignore that. I really, really, really hope YouTube ban Logan Paul, like, off of YouTube. Like, I thought he was, like, the sensible brother of the two. Like, I know there was all this stuff about Jake Paul. I never really read about that either. Like 
Paul twins, I'm just kind of, not Paul twins, the Paul brothers, I'm kind of just a bit like, mm, not really overly fussed about you, but when they come out and do stupid stuff like this, then it's just like, why? You've like literally ruined your career, like he has ruined his career. No matter how many apology videos he will make, that will still be like, on, like it will still be there. Like he is literally going to be known as a person who filmed a dead person and put it on the internet and laughed about it. I know like, uh, people laugh out of awkwardness or something like if someone's really awkward with me or like it's something that's really awkward I'll laugh but oh, it's just you don't laugh at something like that. You should have taken into consideration if that was his family then what would he have done? Like it's just crazy plus he went into the forest the for like the forest that's notorious and like newly known I can't speak today but you know like the forest that is known for people committing suicide in and he went there he knew he was gonna find a body like if you go down the trail because I've read somewhere someone tweeted that um they're like not council what do they call it over there I'm gonna call it the council because I have no idea but like the Japanese council <laughs> They went into the forest and they tied ribbons along this path where people go and literally commit suicide. And if they change their mind when they're in there, um, they can literally turn around and follow the ribbons back to like the path. And they would have had to go down there to then see the dead body. Um, so he literally brought it on himself. I'm actually like so angry and I don't even know him but... I actually hate the fact that people are supporting him. Like, yeah, people make mistakes, but that is a mistake that you do not make. Like, you come across a dead body, you're not going to film it and put it on the internet, are you? You're going to turn your camera off. Don't speak about it afterwards. You can be like, yeah, we saw it, but I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just so, like, angry, but I don't even know him to be angry at him kind of thing. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about Logan Paul. Because I'm kind of hoping like everyone's on the same wavelength as me. That they hate him. And if YouTube don't ban Logan Paul. I don't know. Like that is crazy. Like that is. Like YouTube is what I want to do with my life. Like I've always wanted to do YouTube since I was like 13. So that's like five years. And just to know there's people out there like on this. Like on this platform. That feel like it's okay to go out there and film a dead body. And put it on the internet and laugh about it. It's not okay. Really not okay. Great. Now that's over. Now I've kind of ranted about it and made. I've really made no sense. So I'm going to have to like edit myself a load to make it make sense. But that's my foundation done. And this foundation, honestly, it's not sticky. It's just perfect. It's kind of matte, but also has like a nice glow to it. It's kind of like, no. I'm go back in with the blending brush and the sparkly red shade and do it under my eyes. Now I am going to go in with, don't worry, do my mascara last, I'm not going to forget about it, fingers crossed. I'm going to go in my Coco Collection palette, um, I definitely need to get a new one of these because they don't do any of these shades individually and as you can see I've hit pan on all three shades that I use. I'm just going to use bronzer, contour, colour, whatever you want to call it, and contour my cheeks. I don't know whether I need to invest in like a new brush because this is a blush brush. I'm quite content with it, like it's lasted me for ages and it's literally all I use this for, like contour. I feel like I need to get like a new brush set, like I kind of want a Zoeva brush set but I'm not really sure. I want to enhance my makeup collection as well, like I want a bigger makeup collection. But with me when I buy something and I love it and I won't buy anything else, I'll just buy that for ages until I want to try something else. That's my only problem, so I won't. I'm not really like adventurous. Um, so you know, any makeup brands want to send me makeup out here, I'll take it, <laughs> I'll test it for you. But obviously, that'll never happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, if you know any like makeup products or brands that are worth trying out, or you want to see like a video on it, I want to do a full face of first impressions. So you know, holler at me what makeup products I could test. So I tweeted out yesterday sorry I've got an eyelash I tweeted out yesterday I want to do a giveaway I'm not sure whether it's going to be beauty or like I don't know what else I could use it for like it's pretty much going to be beauty to be honest so yeah it's going to be beauty it's going to be makeup related yeah just let me know what products you kind of want in there otherwise I will literally pick them myself but I'm going to have it as three winners um 
and it's gonna be like, like a good like not good winner but like the first prize will be like a good couple of things and then the second will be like a little bit less and the third will be like one or two things um so yeah i'm not really sure what i want to do i kind of might throw some gift cards in there for either like beauty or maybe like clothing shops and it will be uk only so that's done now i've lost my highlight brush so it's really sad so i have to use my multitask like cheek brush um and it doesn't pick up as much product but i'm gonna go in with the pinky shade you guys have seen this all before but it's this one here no this one there we go why didn't i just look at my palette um because the white one's running out slowly and i kind of want to use that for if i ever go on like a night out or need like a pop and cheek does anyone have to hold their breath when they do their makeup i do it and it's really annoying because <sighs> i don't run out of breath okay that's my highlight done not really glowing but you know it's cool so i need to put on a lipstick the burgundy shade this is um in gorge and it's a coco collection kylie collection thingy it's a coco collection in the kylie cosmetics range does that make sense does that make sense it's a coco collection range in the kylie cosmetics brand i don't know but that's all it is So now I finally finished my lipstick. Finally. I'm kind of feeling it. I don't know if it matches with the eyes, but I'm gonna go with it anyway because <laughs> do I care? Not really. So yeah, mascara. I've got the Primark False Lash Effect mascara. Okay, I don't know if this is dried yet, but I don't want to touch it. No, it hasn't. <laughs> um literally I use this found foundation. I use this mascara all the time. Like it is so good. Although sometimes it can get really like gloopy yeah now i'm gonna go in with the their real benefit mascara and just kind of like separate everything those are my eyelashes they're a bit sparse because i have this really annoying like habit of pulling my eyelashes out i don't know if anyone else has this habit but it's so annoying but yeah this is my finished everyday apart from the lip makeup routine <laughs> so yeah guys that is the end of this video um this is like literally pretty much like i said every single day makeup routine um just minus the red lipstick it's normally like that purple shade but yeah if you guys did enjoy this updated one let me know give this a like subscribe down below and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.